good day, Commander. So this is Commander Darkside, and today I'd like to go over a couple builds for sniper rifles in Elite Dangerous Odyssey. Covert infiltration is one of the best ways to take out targets when doing missions or looting bases without detection and without setting off the settlement's alarms. When sniping targets, you need to be able to take out your target fast before they have a chance of putting up their shields, and you also want to prevent detection from other NPCs in the area. I use the Maverick suit for almost every single scenario in Elite as it provides plenty of protection at Grade 5 and is the most versatile suit for completing missions and looting materials. The Maverick suit has one primary weapon and one secondary weapon. My secondary weapon of choice is the Manticore Oppressor, which at Grade 5 will take out any shielded target with two shots or any unshielded target with one shot, but it does have a limited effective range. The first primary sniper I use is the Manticore Executioner. It's a plasma rifle with the most damage output of any weapon in the game. Its disadvantage is its extremely slow projectile speed. This will force you to lead your target, making it much more difficult to land a shot at distance, or position yourself directly in front or behind your target. The mods I have added are faster handling to decrease the aim down sight time, reload speed, as it only has a three round clip size and reload time is rather long, scope for increased visibility at long ranges, and audio masking to silence the weapon in outside environments. The other primary sniper I use is the Karma AR-50. It's a kinetic weapon that has a lot less damage per shot, but can fire at a much higher rate. The downfall is you need to land a lot of shots fast to take out your target but the shot speed is so fast, it's easier to take out moving targets than the Executioner. It is an assault rifle, but you can add mods to make it a great option for sniping. The mods I have added are, of course, scope for better visibility at long range, audio masking as a silencer, stability, which makes this gun fire like a laser beam, and greater range to get an effective range of 75 meters. Both of these weapons are a great option, although I do favor the Executioner in most situations, but the AR-50 is a nice change of pace, and it's a lot of fun to use. Well, that's all I have for now. Let me know what your favorite weapon builds are in the comments below, and until next time, see you in the black, Commanders.